What's the funniest moment that, for you personally in your whole career that you remember the most chucklingly? That's rough. They're Out of nowhere. Point. I mean, maybe yeah. if I thought, I don't... I know one of, one of the funniest because, in a way... Have you got an hour? In a, <laughs> in a way, it, it pointed up the, really the ludicrousness of the whole thing, of how, at times, we put so much importance on something that really shouldn't be that important. But when I was nominated the first time for an Academy Award, and the only time I received one, was uh, for Ensign Pulver and Mr. Mr. Roberts. Roberts, yes. And everybody kept saying, you may win this. You have a very good chance. And I must admit that I wanted to receive that award. Oh, boy. There's no question. As I say, we can change our values of but I certainly wanted it at that time. I outfitted myself. I was tailored down to the last stitch. Everything was wonderful. And I got in the car to go to the theater that night, absolutely calm, cool, and collected. I left the tickets. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know anything. It was panic. Roared back to the house, got the ticket, back into the car, just barely got there, and they were interviewing everybody as they went into the theater. Um, that was in the industry, you know, and on film and so forth, and television and all of this and that. And there was a little ramp. I, thinking that I was in total and complete control, while I walked up the ramp, and while I was talking and everything, I was absolutely beautifully glib, I was fine. There was enormous signs facing me saying, whatever you do, don't touch the rail. Wet red paint. I, with both hands, was on the rail and leaning on it, <laughs> being very casual while I talked into the cameras and everything. When I went into the theater, I was an absolute <laughs> mess. All over my hands, all over my suit. So after I finally sat down in sheer panic, while other things were going on, I looked around. Dash back, I was down in the men's room trying... Now, you can't get, get paid off. off no. It was just horrible. I then finally had... I don't know what I did. I put anything, everything I could think of over it or whatever. And as it turned out, fortunately, it didn't show that much because the dark red against the black of the evening jacket didn't show that much. And I kept my hands like this right around the thing when I finally received it. <laughs> Nobody remembers that. That's why I held on to it. Not out of sheer love, but because I wasn't about to show him all of these red hands here. Uh, at any rate, I got back in my seat just as they said, Jack. He kind of took the kick out of it because I was worried about getting back in case I did win it or what to do about the paint. Yeah. The next thing I heard was my name. But uh, I don't know why that came to my mind. That's a great that moment. At it, it, that time in my life as a young guy, my third picture and everything, the thought of receiving an Academy Award was so important to me then.